I'm sure all of you are aware about the current state of Red Dead Online. It was confirmed by Rockstar that they will no longer be adding big updates to the game. Instead they are doing small monthly updates, such as double money and discounts. Now, you may be wondering, why do I care about this dead game? Why? Say something now. The reasons are, Red Dead Redemption 2 is by far the best game I have ever played. To the story, the characters, and the open world of all the activities you can do in this game is incredible. I know that there are plenty of videos on this topic, but I want to share my thoughts and views about how I feel. And also get some things off my chest that I haven't fully expressed. I guess you can call this a rant of some sort. I'm honestly shocked. The state of Red Dead Online became. The online had so much potential, I have some ideas why Rockstar or Take 2 decided to not add any more content to this game. Was it because they were lazy? Were they just running out of ideas? Or was it because of the success GTA Online got to their heads and thought Red Dead Online was going to get the same treatment, but never did? Maybe it was all three, we won't know the true reason why they did what they did, but the way Rockstar is going, we could say it was possibly one out of the three reasons. I hate seeing people say things like, Red Dead Online being abandoned was a good business decision. Red Dead Online is a boring Wild West game, there's nothing to add. Red Dead Online never had potential, so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure these people have never played Red Dead Redemption, or just played it for a short bit of time and never touched it again. So for them to make those claims is somewhat irrelevant, in my opinion, you can't criticize something properly without actually engaging in it. If that makes sense, I find it funny when the fanboys claim that GTA Online has more potential. Okay, why do most of the houses and apartments have the same interior? Why is there still no animals roaming around? Why are the prices so high from the apartments, businesses, vehicles, and even clothing? Why is there still no real fun activities outside of the city? Why are they still putting the same old interiors from 2013 in the newer cars, etc, etc? I could go on, but you get the point. Don't get me wrong, I also play GTA Online and somewhat still enjoy it, but I can't help but question the people who makes those claims about Red Dead Online when they have never played it. Now, if you're someone who doesn't play Red Dead Online but still support it and think that it was wrong of Rockstar for abandoning the game, I am not targeting you, but to the fanboys who constantly support whatever Rockstar does and praise them for it, even if it's something dumb and they don't agree on. GTA Online getting constant updates is good, and I also enjoy them myself. But why not also update Red Dead Online? Yes, I'm aware that they are currently working on GTA 6. But if they can also give GTA Online big constant updates, why should they treat Red Dead any differently? They didn't even finish the story they had for Red Dead Online, which annoys me. That's saying something if they didn't even bother to finish the story before abandoning online. That's the least they can do for their fans that stuck by this game. Occasionally, I will come back to play the missions for my own enjoyment. When I first started playing, I genuinely enjoyed the story and I wanted to know what would happen next. But as time went on, Rockstar hasn't added on since. I'm not sure if this bothers anyone else, but it does irritate me a whole lot. My concerns and voice as a fan of Rockstar still matters for this game, whether they abandoned it or not. I still use the hashtag save Red Dead Online, and I believe that the Red Dead community should still use this hashtag and began to spread it again on all platforms. Both fans of Red Dead and GTA should come together as a community again and voice the frustrations and the unfair treatment the Red Dead community has received. If we can come together as a whole and continuously voice our concerns, Rockstar will do something. Change is always possible, even when it seems impossible. Even in the worst circumstances, even the worst people can become good. Change is always possible. I'm sure if the situation was flipped and GTA got abandoned while Red Dead was getting constant big updates, everyone will be furious. There will be a huge controversy, a huge demand for an explanation or to make updates again. And I'm sure that Rockstar will immediately make changes. I know some of you might be thinking, of course there will be a huge outrage from the community, GTA has a very large fan base, and for Rockstar to stop making updates completely would be stupid. And yes, that is correct. But tell me, why would a Samler fanbase be outlooked from the bigger one? Why is it when it's okay to cut future content from a game a smaller fanbase enjoys, it also gets ignored or brushed to the side or even joked about? But when the idea of cutting future content from the game a bigger fanbase enjoys, it becomes a huge problem. Basically, why do the numbers matter? 
the numbers or sales don't make the games good. The content does, yes, the number of sales can determine whether the game does well or not, but that doesn't excuse the fact that we have to look at if the content is actually good, regardless the sales it makes. But that is the sad reality the world we live. If you're not big, you will mostly be ignored and not valued versus someone who is popular. This is nothing new, but when abandoning a game that has a smaller fan base that is Red Dead versus GTA for possibly more money, bothers me and truly is disgusting. The people who agree with Rockstar's decision is saying that it is okay to choose money and greed over your fans, the people who made them who they are today, why, why agree with this decision that they did? Are you really stupid? You really think that them chasing money is a good business tactic? Not just for this period of time, but for the future of gaming. Just think about it, I know that Rockstar is a business, but they can also have some loyalty to their fans, you can balance money and good content especially a company like Rockstar, a multi-millionaire company. You can say the game is dead. You can say that it didn't have potential. You can say that the game is boring. But you can't deny what Rockstar did was wrong. And if you still believe they did the right thing with abandoning Red Dead Online, ask yourself this. If the situation was flipped, how would you react? How would you feel that your favorite game got an abandoned for another, mostly for money? And if you say, I don't have to imagine because it won't happen, I challenge you to try. Try to imagine put yourself in someone else's shoes as they say. You don't have to play the game, you don't have to like it either, all I'm asking is to show sympathy to the players who enjoy Red Dead Online and still want to see changes, it's not hard to support a game that has been treated unfairly. If me giving decent criticism to a franchise and company that I hold in my heart so dearly and want to see them make changes for the better is crying, then call it whatever you want. I won't forget what Rockstar did, even if GTA 6 comes out, I will voice my concerns even if I'm the only one doing so. Thank you for listening to me rant, I wrote this down in my notes, I edited and added some parts, but these are my raw feelings and thoughts, I apologize if anything I said doesn't make sense. Let me guys know if you would like more of these rant or discussion videos in the future. Subscribe if you're new, like or dislike the video. Leave a comment and tell me what you guys think of my opinion, I would like to know. Thank you for sticking around till the end. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.